Hey quarantine guys, gals, and pals, Kelsey Stor here, and welcome back to Love Sam. Um, it's actually still the same day, it's just been like four or five hours, so I've kind of like, I'm like, oh, it's not scary, I'll be fine, <laughs> but I'm like back in it, I'm seeing the screen, and I'm like, oh, no, I made a mistake. <laughs> That's all I can think, so, I don't know where it saved last. I'm just hoping, oh god, okay. I'm just hoping it's... <laughs> oh, see, I was hoping it was after this. Scared me is still uh, just a little bit, but we're fine. Okay, just so I feel okay. There's nothing here. I don't see anything. We're gonna turn this on. Hello. Oh, I kind of don't like that. Actually, I hate that. Okay. Is it gonna make us? <gasps> oh. What do I have this stick? What do I do with this? How do I- <laughs> What? Can I turn the light on? Why was there a camera flash? Do I just sit down with the stick? Ah. <laughs> it's just part of my desk now. Okay. I have a stick now. Apparently I did that wrong the first time. <laughs> okay. Okay. <clears throat> oh, also, um, just to clear up something, at the very beginning of the diary she said it's been three years since she met Brian, so I guess these are just old notes that she wrote. So she's not as creepy as I thought she was, but she's still, Sam's still pretty creepy, you gotta admit, right? Okay, anyway. September 4th, 2006. Visited the library again, a bit more people than before, and among them was Brian. It's not worth a bother, but seeing a major skank's boyfriend bud wandering around in the library is uncanny by anyone's standards. He must have been there to pick the books for Miss Lasley's assignment. I almost got too close to him trying to see what he was going to pick. I really hope he didn't notice that. I'd rather be known as a regular geek than a creepy one. A jock in a library? Now I've seen everything. Woe is me. Hate to admit it, but seeing Brian at the library was today's only diary-worthy event. Probably because it's the only human interaction that didn't give me the sensation of someone talking behind my back. At least today's entry is a tad more meaningful than what I wrote yesterday. I need to revise my book options now. Write you later. Love, Sam. The lights are back on. What is that? Oh my god. I miss him even when I'm with him. I see him even when he's not looking. There's a picture of me right there. Oh god. Oh. How do I... Oh, no, 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 no. No, no, no. Did I get it? Did I get it? I 
I don't think I got it. Why am I- why am I still doing it? How do I get it? Do I have like a, a flashlight or something? Oh, I have a stick! Can I use the stick? Oh god. <laughs> Okay. 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 <laughs> this game is making me paranoid. Okay. September 7th, 2006. So it's three days after the last one. It was Mr. Kane's ninth psychology class, and he still managed to come up with another lame activity. This time, he gave each of us a sheet and made us write down some of our own personal traits. For the next 10 cringy minutes, I managed to squeeze out some of the aspects of myself that I ha could hate less. After that, Mr. Kane told us to think about whether or not others would agree to each of them. He called it re-engaging the perspective towards oneself. Blah, blah. Wow. Like, I really need to reevaluate my stupid self. But it's not the dumb subconscious exercise that's bug bugging me right now. When the papers were being passed ab around, Brian Sepp? Oh, Brian parentheses, yep, him again, kind of smiled at me. It's 11 p.m. now. Why am I writing this? Why am I writing about this? Is what it says, actually. <clears throat> it's most likely an accidental glance, but I still don't know why the very image hovered in my head for the rest of the class. Okay, the rest of the day. Stupid brain probs wanted an excuse for screwing up today's math test. Get out of my brain. <gasps> It wasn't there. I'm gonna ignore that. I'm gonna ignore that. Okay, we're just gonna keep going. Okay. <laughs> As the time we spent together grew longer, one question kept on growing with it. What does the me in B's eyes look like? I don't know. What does the what does the you in his eyes look like? <clears throat> does he even see me as I see him? Does he see me as I see myself? Does he see me as I want him to? I screamed in agony, but there was nobody to even hear it. Oh, she better not scream out. Please don't. Please. Okay. Well, others think that I do not overthink. Would never lie to my friends. Never use others for my personal gains. Will others think that I won't betray anyone else close to me? Do I have to fill this out? Never act on impulse. Don't run away from my responsibilities. Okay. So. I'm going to say I don't overthink. So I'm going to say others don't think. Okay. What I would never lie to my friends. Yeah. Never use others for my personal gains. We're gonna say yes. Okay. Well, others think that I won't betray anyone close. We're just gonna say yes. It seems like to all of these, right? Hold on. Never act on impulse. Am I a fucking freak? No. Oh God. I can't get up from my chair. can't put no, I can only put yes. It seems to be kind of like, this is like a weird, 
There's like a very... No. I saw it. There was a no option. I saw it. I'm gonna put no if my life depends on it. Oh my god, these lights! <gasps> Can I keep going? Oh, there's a note. <clears throat> okay. Ooh, that was interesting. September 11th, 2006. I was returning some of the books I checked out when he came out of nowhere. Hey, anything worth reading? I never thought the voice was aimed at me, but my heart was somehow already skipping a beat. Brian had to tap me on the shoulder to get my complete attention. Sam, right? I saw you going in and out of the library, he said with buttery voice. It's not like I've been stalking you or anything. I came here from time to time, too, to get the stupid assignment out of the way so I could focus on my games. He said he couldn't find anything interesting to read, and since all he could think of were comics, he could use some guidance. My mind was still jumbled up from the ambush. All I remember saying is, how about misery? Stephen King's works are good enough to get you started. Cause boys like any story with blood and breaking bones, right? Oh god. I don't recall the rest of the conversation went, but I'm certain he said see you later at some point. And I said yeah, see ya. Misery. Real nice, Sam. If I didn't know you are a weirdo, he does now. Um, I don't even know that book. I've never heard of that before. Misery, huh? Okay, can I keep going now? Yes. Alright. What I did, I did for B. All of them, because I loved him. All of who? Did she kill people or something? What the heck? Why couldn't he just understand? Others were nothing but poison. I was the only one who truly cared. But B didn't even appreciate the things I've done for him. What have you done? I never wanted a drama. I wanted a poemish life. A tender, subtle love story written only for his eyes. It's totally fine if no one else gets it, as long as B does. B was always welcome in my world. I gave him the key to it. Even if he lost it, he would always come back to our world to find it. And I think it's a good time to come back now, B. Better come back. Um, can I... I needed a key for this. Can I? Is there a key somewhere? No? I don't. S mm, maybe I'll get one. Let's go back to our small world where I placed my heart at everywhere you loved. Where I placed my love at everywhere you love? Let's go back. Hmm. Okay, so. There's a heart over here. Is this something to- yeah. Can I grab it? How do I- Do I keep going? No, I gotta grab it. There's like no cursor and it's really weird. Crosshair. Okay. That would probably be. Okay, look at that. That's much better. Um. Okay. Okay, here's the key. Okay, I'm a little worried about what's gonna happen when I open this. Okay, I've got more hearts. <clears throat> September 16th, 2006. Turns out the lake does have a history of having a dead body in it. Oh god! I know this because I visited there. I visited there because Brian took me there. What? Interesting. That progressed pretty fast. It all happened so fast. Exactly. I was outside the yard reading when Brian appeared out of nowhere. Again, he said, hey, I said hi, <laughs> hey, and started telling me how he actually enjoyed the book and how he never read the same book twice in his life. And since he was heading out, he offered me to give a tour of the town. 
give me a tour of the town. Ten minutes later, we were passing Joe's Diner, home of the world-famous pancakes, says Brian. There was also an arcade across the diner. Brian hates the place because it's teeming with ten-year-olds. The donut shop was Brian's must-go-to place, too. Unlike the music store, which, according to him, seriously needs to restock. I found my own place of interest. A bookstore. It was weird seeing a bookstore and a gym standing side by side, though. At the end of the tour, I finally got to taste the sweet pancake Brian worshipped. Out the window, I could see the weird gigantic hill that was also visible from my dorm room. Brian revealed that it's, that it's his secret base of some kind since few people actually visit Colton Hill. He jokingly said he could take me there when I'm cool enough. After dinner, Brian dropped me off at the bus station and drove off to meet up with his friends. I was exhausted, but hyped up beyond my limits. I can't sleep. How can I when the whole day just feels like a dream? Okay, so I have a... Um, I have a feeling I'm going to need to put those hearts on his, like, favorite places. So, um, we've got Joe's Diner that he likes and the donut shop. She likes the bookstore, but it also could be the lake if that's an option. Oh, look, I can take it. Okay. I feel like I should be able to write something. I don't know though. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see. Okay. So we have Joe's Diner and then um, the donut shop. Oh, he liked Colton Hill or. Did I do it right? I don't know. I miss Morning Dew Bakery. B never shuts up about its donuts. So tasty. Okay. They did taste sweet, just like B's heart. Each bite was another memory to savor. But just like a donut, it had an expiration date. It turned cold and bitter. I might grab the donut. Oh, you can! <laughs> okay. Okay. You can stop now. Okay. 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 All right. Oh, God. That scared me. Okay. September 25th. Oh, so I feel like it's... It's almost been like a whole week then. Or maybe it has been a week since the last one. The golems just obliterated the hammerheads today. I know now why they say Brian and Kyle are more than buds. I would have called them an awesome duo too if only Kyle wasn't an asshole of a douche. Oh, okay. An ass load of a douche. Wow, that's an interesting term. I mean, the guy has his name tattooed on his arm. Really? He has his own name tattooed on his arm? That seems really weird. He has his own name tattooed. I'm sorry, I can't get over that. I'm like, the only reason I could think to do that is if, like, your significant other had the same name as you did. That's the only thing that makes sense to me, you know? Uh, that's weird. Okay. Um, I mean, the guy has his name tattooed on his arm. Call me old-fashioned, but I think he should go to a hospital and get that ego checked out, because it must be swollen huge. At least he leaves me alone other than giving me that creepy stare when I pass by. I understand how Stacy can keep hanging out with him, but Brian? They do say we sometimes become friends with those we are at op- who are- Ugh. They do say we sometimes become friends with those who are at opposite ends, so maybe it's not such a weird thing. For me, the real, the real win was the photos I took of Brian. Watch out for Sam Holt, the rising teenage stalker. Really, though. Bringing the Polaroid camera I brought, bought years ago during my camera geek phase seems like a good idea now. Sigh. 
I know I promised myself to stay away from people, stay away from the drama. But when I look at Brian, when he talks to me, it feels like maybe, just maybe, it's okay to have a little drama for myself. I'm not ready to define what this feeling is, but for now, I'm going to label it as looking for a shoulder to cry on and just shove it under my bed, just like the pictures I took today. Can I look under my bed? Is there pictures under there? I don't like that that lights off now. Okay. No, there's nothing under my bed. Why would they still be there after three years? It is kind of strange. Um. Okay. Okay. Okay, so she misses its warmth. I miss its sweetness. I need it. I need to eat it up. Okay. I'm gonna keep going. I hated every moment I was not with B. I was helpless. Every day I just wanted to call him just so we could chat, but I was afraid of what Brian would think of it. It could even hurt his reputation. When I finally worked up the nerve to call, all I could do was listen to him say hello. That was as far as our late night call phone call chit chat could go i hung up wondering if he knew who was on the other end of the line oh my god she's a freaking stalker i remember the strong burning sensation that came every time i called him that red fiery sensation red can i keep going oh, okay um so fucking red Okay. Red everywhere. Sampless Brian. Sampless please. Sampless Brian. Oh god, oh my god. Okay. Finish what you started. Okay. How do I get up again? Oh yeah, that's right. Okay. Do I have to? Is there anything else I could do? I don't know if this is like a, like a, um, an option type thing, you know? Oh, that's weird. I guess I just have to do it, right? Oh god, I don't want to get down there. There's a there's a person down here. Oh, I have to actually draw it. Okay. 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 Uh. Oh god. Those were there five seconds ago. <laughs> okay. We're just gonna sit down now. Okay? Is that alright with everyone? Okay. Thank you. Can I go? I can't go. Does it want me to go in here? I don't want to come in here. Is there anything I could do? Oh! There was another one in there. Oh god, okay. I hate you. I hate you. This is the worst. Can I go? <laughs> okay. Okay. Ugh. I'm fine. No. We're not outside. No. No. <laughs> can, I, can I go back inside, please? Ugh. Ugh. What is that? Is it the Polaroid? Is it the picture I took? 
Okay. Sam, meet me at Colton Hill. You know where to find me. Brian. Oh god. Uh, when I get scared, I realize I freeze up. That is something I'm realizing about myself. I just go, no! Oh god. This is terrifying. Okay, so I have a note now. Can I keep going? Yeah, I think so, because I have another I have another diary entry from 2006. Okay. September 28, 2006. Due date for Miss Lasley's book report is right around the corner, and I'm still not finished. Only if I wasn't too disturbed. Normally I won't I wouldn't bother reading a teen romance story, but for some reason I thought, hey, why not? The premise for Mingled itself is a pretty generic is pretty generic. Jenny has a huge crush on her childhood friend Michael, but she can't get Michael to think of her as more than just friends. She reaches the conclusion that it's because of all those girls around him. So she starts making a list of all the basic girls who also have a crush on Michael. What she's planning to do with the list is yet to be revealed. It kind of sounds like she's going to kill them all. <laughs> if I could finish reading the book by tomorrow, I'll be able to finish the report with enough time for a revise. P.S. I wonder how Brian is doing with his assignments. Why am I interested? Because he's been asking for my help with some of his works, and I gladly agree to. Why would I do that? Because by helping Brian focus on his practices so he can bring trophies to our beloved school, it's safe to say I'm part of a bigger <laughs> bigger cause. Not like I'm doing this for personal reasons, right? <sighs> I don't... <laughs> I don't like that. I wanted to read Brian like a book. Peep into his beautiful head. Okay. You. Fill with desires I had to secretly incubate. Desires of whispering words like, Don't leave me. Don't go away. Don't smile for others. God, she's so creepy. Please don't look away, please don't look away, please don't look away. Okay, I won't. I won't. Can I keep going? <gasps> Is it me? Oh god. So, right when that happened, I was getting out of the chair or I was getting I was going back to get up so I don't think I think without even realizing okay so you're supposed to just sit there and stare at this page okay okay It's just a game, Kelsey. Why are you so freaked out by this? No! 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 <sighs> I'm so tense. I can't get up. The light's not working. Oh god, I hated that! Oh god. <laughs> oh god, I don't know what my, like, reaction is to cover my face. <laughs> wow, that was... Whoo! Okay. Hmm. I'm okay. I need to drink some cold water after this. Woo! This game is too scary. Okay. We're fine. 
Oh, it's October now. Happy, happy Halloween. <clears throat> okay. Okay. October 4th, 2006. Stacy invited everyone to the late post-victory party at her place this Friday. Weird that she told me this at the hallway herself. The sudden act of courtesy was enough to leave me frozen. Yeah, like me after I freaking see a scary thing. But to think of it, a self-conscious beauty queen like Stacy would love showing off how tolerant she could be. I prefer celebrating quietly in my room, but since the party is practically being held for Brian, I thought it would sort of it would be sort of rude of me to not be there. He was nothing but nice to me since I met him, so the least I could do is show up. Plus, I could probably witness the face Stacy makes when she sees I actually had the nerve to show up. Maybe Sorry. Maybe, just maybe, I could even piss her off if I managed to strike a conversation with Brian. And Omega hanging out with an alpha? Kyle would be busy comforting Stacy, fuming about how I mess up her ego ecosystem. No peer pressure, Sam. Just clean drinks and hopefully some casual talk with Brian. What could possibly go wrong? Okay. So I have me. This is me. <clears throat> okay. Whew. Like staring into closed eyes, I could never know if B knew I was looking at him. Did he even know I was there? Maybe he knew, but simply didn't care. The only thing looking back is my decaying sanity. I wanted to look away so much, but what's the point when the stench is still there? I started to think the only way to get B's attention was to throw myself off Colton Hill. Jeez. Jesus, dude. How did I come so low? All I wanted was a chance to show how I feel about B without any noise getting in the way. I still could have had some peace with Brian, despite all the shit I had to deal with. <clears throat> Brian was super likable. Everyone liked e everything. Everyone liked everything about him. They couldn't stop smiling. Brian started talking. The smiles they gave him made me want to puke. They smile as if their relationship with Brian mean much more than the ones I have with B. Why is she talked why is she talking like they're two different people almost? Um, and yeah, I was the only one left with a broken heart when he left Frozen Peak. B was so determined about leaving that being a star player wasn't enough for him. B didn't need needed to be a fucking model student. Nothing says pick me to college mission like a spotless student record. You just can't shake up my whole world and leave. Suicide suspected in death of missing teenager. The girl of 17 who was found dead at Colton Hill likely ended her own life, police says. <gasps> what is this? Sam Holt, a transfer student of Wayright Academy, had been reported missing for six days until Rosen Peak authorities discovered her bodies in the forest. Due to, heavy, due to days of heavy rain around the time of her death, the investigation on Miss Holt's death faced a few challenges. However, interviews with school faculty members and a student led to the possibility that she threw herself off of the cliff of Colton Hill after months of rejection from her peers. She was rarely seen with others, says one of her former teachers. She was even publicly humiliated just before her disappearance. It must have worked as a tipping point for her. Rosen Peak police say the fall did not kill Sam instantly. Is this possible? <clears throat> Oh my god, it is possible she gasped for air through her broken neck before dying. Ray Red Academy now faces suspicion of neglecting its student led by the mother of blank. Of Sam Holtz, probably. That's... <gasps> what? Who am I then? What is happening? What is going on? What? 
<clears throat> okay, October 7th, 2006. Oh, man. Everything's gone wrong. All my senses are screaming in pain. I don't even remember drinking any booze. The only the pain only escalated the moment Brian texted me. You feeling okay? No, I was not okay. And why is Brian asking me this? Did I do something to him? According to Brian, I went from being quiet to crazy happy and cute. His words, not mine. Real quick. I was so close to being the center of the party that he had to bring me back to my dorm. Had me had to bring me back to the dorm. Why can't I remember any of them? Congrats, Sam. You've reached a new low in life. Shit. Is this it? Is this how I die? I sincerely asked Brian if there was a good place to kill myself. Oh my god. He said maybe now is a good time to show you my secret hideout, since I passed the test by joining the whole school a different me. Is he seriously going to take me to his Colton Hill hideout? Tomorrow, I'm going to the so-called most romantic place in Rosen Peak with Brian. There's something in my head that's keeping me awake, and it's not hangover. Honestly, don't want to, um, okay. We're, screw it. We're brave. I'm not brave. I'm not. Okay, there's nothing there. Why is it a bathroom? No. No. Oh no, we're in the woods again. Okay, so I see something over there. It looks like a person. Okay. Don't you dare come at me. Okay. Are we gonna jump off? <gasps> oh! Oh. <clears throat> Hold on. Um weird. I thought these were pencils or candles or something, but that one that would definitely look like um, like a, uh, what is that called? A shot thing. An injector. A needle! <laughs> okay. Oh yeah, look. That's because some of them are. All of them are. I don't know how long this game is. Okay, we're, uh... <clears throat> There only looks like there's a couple left. Uh, I think... Uh, let's just read this. We'll read this one and then I think I'll end the episode there. Okay. October 8th, 2006. OMG! Brian actually took me to Colton Hill. The hideout Brian mentioned had a wonderful view of the small town, the whole place under the golden sunset. The best part of this spot was that it is quite hidden and unsafe. Wait. The best part of this spot was that it is quite hidden and unsafe, so it's really cool. You could easily roll down the hill if you're careless or drunk, and no one could find you for days. How awesome is that? Oh, it's so cool. Being drunk with that wonderful moment didn't cause any accident, though. We sat there for less than an hour, but it felt like an eternity. I can't even remember what we talked about. I do remember saying how beautiful Rosen Peak is, and Brian be all meh about it. I guess you can get fed up with views like this too. Today's only regret is that I failed to bring the true essence of the hill's view back with me. There's a reason why I gave up photography as a hobby in the first place. At least the close-up shot of Brian was not half as bad. When I came back down from the hill, it became clear that my life just became a bit more messed up now. I know because I really want to talk to Brian again soon. Help me get to sleep quickly today, diary. Love, Sam. Okay. So yeah, there was a save right there. Okay, so I think that's it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. This game is really good. So um, I'm actually, I think I might just continue playing it because I, this is kind of awesome actually. It's really good once you get over those first three scares. Um, 
But again, thank you so much for watching. Feel free to leave a like, comment, share, subscribe, all of that nonsense, and peace out.